Hello, Crypto Explorer here with another quick video on electronium mining. Um, this video is basically how to mine on an alternative uh, mining pool. Um, the official ones um, seem to be, uh, I guess, very, uh, well, probably very crowded. I, I, I'm not too sure, but it's taking a long time for them to pay out. I don't know if it's just um, overutilized right now, but um, I figured uh, if uh, folks wanted an alternative mining pool, there's one here at pool.electronium.space, and I'll put the link in the description. So let's get started. First, um, you have to disable the antivirus. If you're not comfortable disabling um, antivirus, then by all means, don't, um, and don't mine. Um, but because it does contain mining software, um, a lot of antivirus uh, flags it. So we go first here into the Windows Defender. If you're using Windows Defender, uh, this is on by default. And then we go to Virus and Threat Protection. So it'll, it'll differ depending on whatever virus soft, antivirus software you use. This is just for Windows Defender. Then we go to virus and threat protection setting and real-time protection to off and then you get this prompt click yes so it's off okay we can close this close this message next thing we got to do is download the miner by going to getting started and how to so for those who are just beginning mining this is for beginners we're going to go to um, this Windows users new to mining and click download and then click the this uh, zip file and then I'm gonna go save as I'm just gonna save it into my documents here we go and click save and then I'm gonna go to open folder and from there I'm gonna right click and extract all There you go. So this is the program. Let me close this up. So we're going to double click on this crypto um, note miner.exe. And then it's going to generate a new wa wallet with the password of X. Click OK. Now, if you've already created a wallet and or have a or, or accessing it in the CLI from the my previous videos, you want to make your, put your own address. So we're going to close this up first. And then you see it generated these files. You see this wallet address.txt. So I'm going to grab the wallet address from our prior video when we made a test wallet, which is this. Double click, copy. Now, I don't think we need to do get these keys and all that stuff because um, we're just telling the miner we're not using it as a wallet. So I'm going to just change this from the wallet address it generated to the one I already have. This one. So and then click file and then save and hit X and then we're going to run this again. And then we should confirm that the address here is ours. So let me go and open this file. Kind of get them side by side. So here we go. I usually just like to check the first uh, seven or eight characters and the last. OK, it is the address. Now, this is a low powered uh, computer, so we are, there's only two cores. So if you see here in their web page, in the mining pool for difficulty, um, we're going to do on port 333 because it's a low end hardware. So let's copy and paste the mining pool address. Copy, right click and copy. Go back to the application down here and put and paste the pool host. And then we're going to put the port number, 3333. 
and then click start mining. Now you, you may get this. If you get this coming up, click more info because it's a minor D and click run anyway. So let's go back and we can see it is mining. So after it's been mining for a while, you want to go back to the home page. Um, let's copy and paste this address and check our stats. So we do that by scrolling down here, putting our address here and clicking paste and click look up. Now you don't might not get anything right away, but this is one thing what you need to know. This is knows that you are mining where it shows your hash rate and that you've already submitted shares. So there you go. Let's do a look up again, kind of refresh it. So that's it. Hope this helps. Um, and uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.